Hello, welcome to Tic-Tac-Toe, three in a row. Listen to my flow. That was cringe. Today we're going to be making Tic-Tac-Toe. It is a pretty simple application to make. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe as it helps me grow. We're going to be starting with a completely blank slate here. This is the application we're going to be working with. And we'll be able to see what we as we code what happens to this screen here. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let's just get started. So here's the uh, main component where we're gonna be writing the app for the most part. You could just do this in a HTML file if you wanna follow along. First thing we need to add is, you know, the stuff for the game, right? So Tic-Tac-Toe has like a game board. So let's make a div with a class name and we'll just say board for now. And then we need nine squares, right? Three rows of three. So we'll just say div, class name, equals a square and then we'll just copy and paste that another eight times one two three four five six seven eight so we got the board and the squares but uh they're not going to show up on here until we add some styles so let's head over to css let's do dot board and we'll give it a width of uh, 30 rem we'll give it a height of 30 rem we will center it on the screen with margin auto, and then we'll give it a border of 1px solid black. We can give each square a width of 10 rem, because we want three per row. A uh, height of 10 rem, because we want them to be squares, so width and height have to be the same. And uh, we'll give those a border of 1px solid black as well. This is like not in rows, obviously, so we're gonna have to use some layout stuff in CSS to do that, so. Uh, you could do, I'm going to use Flexbox, which is, you know, like a layout pattern system in CSS. I think it's the best one. You just say display flex, and then there's a property called flex wrap, and then you just say wrap, wrap, boom, wrap, like I did at the beginning. So now we're getting some rows, but three don't fit per row because of the border. So like it's the width of the board is 30. So you'd think like three squares is 30, right? Because each square is 10. But uh, the border of 1px is like pushing it off a little bit. So we just got to make this like slightly bigger to, you know, accommodate those borders basically, which is annoying. I think next, uh, now that we've got like some kind of thing here. Oh, let's add some hover though. Let's say dot square. Just say um, hover and then we'll make the background uh, light blue and then cursor pointer for now just so that we know that we're hovering over a square you know which square we're hovering over and stuff like that uh go back to our app.js file maybe we could just um let's just add a header as well that says the title of the game there we go we got the header i guess we could just start coding the game at this point i mean we're already you know doing pretty good so uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a constructor to our class our javascript class spell it um, this is gonna do super, this dot state. So the component will have some state for the game. So I think what we'll do is we'll have a board state um, just to handle, you know, each spot in the board will handle what values in there. So the initial state is just gonna be each element will just be an empty string and then we'll fill it with X's and O's as we go. So there's gonna be nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you know what we could do? We could honestly get rid of a lot of this stuff. We could just map these squares, to be honest. Like we could literally just do this. We could do this dot state dot board dot map. So basically what we're doing here is we're taking this array and we're looping through it. And then we're just rendering divs for each element of the array. And then like what's in the div is gonna be, you know, whatever is in the, you know, the value of the element. So if I put like an X here, then the first, you know, square should have an X. So it does work. Okay, so I like this better than all of those just hard-coded divs. So what I'm thinking is we have like some player turn state where someone starts, uh, X or O starts, and then we just have a function that clicks and every time, you know, a move gets played, we switch the player turn from if it's at X, we go to O, if it's at O, we go to X. Uh, so let's add like an on click to all of these squares that we just made. And let's say that we call a method called um, square clicked. All right, so we're gonna make this square clicked method. And then this is gonna say, let's player turn equal this dot state dot player turn. Am I spelling turn right? Yeah, I think so. 
and then we'll say let board equal this dot state dot board. Yeah, there we go. All right, it's fixed. Uh, the problem is, yeah, you don't need to put it in the parentheses, so it's just square index, and then so yeah, we're we're mapping the board, and then we go through, and then when we click, we're calling this square clicked function, which tells us which square we clicked, so that we can update the board state. All right, so I'm pretty sure all we have to do is just board of index, because we know what square we clicked, because we pass in the index, is going to just be equal to player turn, because player turn is just going to be the symbol of the current player's turn. And then, um, yeah, we just got to switch the player's turn, too. So to update player turn, we are going to do a ternary condition. If player turn is equal to x, then we make it an O, otherwise we make it an x. So now it'll be fixed. See, so it's XO, XO. All right, sweet, we're like pretty much almost done, honestly. I think we just check right underneath here. So when we update the board, we will, yeah, we'll check if anyone won. And then if they won, they get, you know, you're a winner. And that's it, that's the whole thing. It's pretty, pretty easy, actually. All right, so apparently there's only a few winning combinations, so I'm just gonna type all of these out, and then we'll just do a check against those to see who won. So yeah, these are basically just the rows, so each row is a winning combination if you get three in a row. Uh, you got the columns here, and then you got diagonals, right? All right, so I'm just looping through all of the rows. So these are each of the winning combos. So I'm just looping through each winning combo and then I'm extracting all three. There's only three values and only a few rows. So I'm just getting all three values and then we just have to check that those are all the same. Let's alert one of those cool strings. Winner, um, player, and then the dollar sign thing. Um, player turn. And then it has won the game, I guess. I don't know. All right, is this it? Do we win? Is that is this all we have to do? Oh, no, no, no. You don't do P1. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You do, um, you do board of P1. So you got to use these as indices. That's why it wasn't working. Wow, there we go. So X wins the game. Um, all right, sweet. All right, that's it. I mean, look, it's working. X won the game, so yeah, it works. Uh, we can make it definitely better looking, though. It looks pretty bad right now. Like, yo, know, I would not play. If this was on a website, I would not play. All right. Okay, so, yeah, let's just make this, like, a little bit better. First thing we could do, I guess, is we could make the... Uh, we could put, like, some H3 tags and for the like X's and O's and then make them like look better. Uh, we'll just give the H3 tag a class name of like symbol, I guess. And then we'll be like, yo, symbol will have, you know, font size of like three rem. Is that gonna be big enough? Let's see. Oops. Oh, damn, look, that already looks so much better. I don't really know where to go. Like, I guess I could work on this forever and just keep making it look better. Like, the alert is pretty bad. Um, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's just a basic, super easy app to build, tic-tac-toe. Um, I could make it look a lot better, but I don't see the point. I mean, we got the main functionality down, right? All right, let's do one last look through this code base just so you guys know what's going on. It's pretty small. Uh, this is the main app file. We did everything in this one little app file. We just have some state for the board, which is just an array of strings. This gets filled up with X's and O's, and depending on, you know, where you click. Um, the board gets rendered, so we loop through the whole board and we render just a div uh, with the value of each index of that board. So if there was X's and O's, they would have X's and O's in them, right? So you just render a square. Each square can be clicked. And those squares that get clicked pass the index in. So it tells you where you clicked. Uh, we update that part of the board with the current player. The player is either an X or an O. We change the player. We alternate the player each time. Uh, so this is where the board gets updated. Uh, we check for the if there was a winner. So if we found you know any of these winning combinations, we're like, all right, you won. 
and uh, we should probably reset the board and stuff like that too. But um, yeah, we update the player. That's pretty much it. It's super simple application. Then you just got your CSS here, which is like, you know, just a few stuff. So this is one of the best beginner applications to build just because like, geez, it's so quick. Um, yeah, highly recommend it. And you could do it with HTML, plain JavaScript. I chose to do it with React today. You don't have to do it with React, but React is, I think, better for it. So yeah, I mean, we made the... Um, basic version of tic-tac-toe so that's all you had to do to build tic-tac-toe it really was super easy uh you can make this way cooler of course so, like maybe i could have like better alerts for example like the winning alert is pretty ugly um you know this sucks so there's libraries that you could use there's also like a bunch of other stuff you, i could have scoreboard i guess but i'm not a tic-tac-toe fanatic uh unfortunately I do think that I'll put a lot more effort. I think I want to do chess next, so I'll put a lot more effort into the chess one. So please like and subscribe this video, not subscribe the video, but subscribe to my channel so that it helps my channel grow. I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you have fun making tic-tac-toe. It's really easy. I think it's a fun app to like build because it's easy. It's just like, oh my God, I can make tic-tac-toe. Like how easy is that? And like, how cool is that, right? Especially if you're a beginner. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please join the Discord. I have a Patreon if you want to support me in my description. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.